Hey Menorca Navy, wanted to do something a little different today and I realized that I had not shown you guys exactly where the wreck is in relationship to the St. Simons village area and the pier. And so I thought I'd shoot just a little video of coming into the, the, the village area. Uh, it's kind of the community hub, if you will, on St. Simons um, and just kind of give you an idea of exactly where the wreck site is located uh, when you come down into the village. So uh, enjoy the video and uh, let me know what you think. So here we go. We're turning on to Mallory Street and into the village, headed down to the St. Simon's Fishing Pier. A lot of uh, shopping, a few restaurants down uh, along this way, and uh, just a busy place. A lot of activity uh, on St. Simon's takes place here at the pier. Uh, people come down, uh, grab some dinner, do some shopping, and usually always has a little bit of a crowd in it. Sometimes parking can be a little bit difficult to find, but generally not too bad. Now, here as we get to the end of Mallory Street, right out in front of us is the St. Simon's Pier and the St. Simon's Sound. And if we look over to the right here, we're going to see the Golden Race wreck site and the VB-10,000 and uh, Section 4 that's still in the water there. So we've got to make a quick trip out onto the St. Simons Pier and visitors to St. Simons that come to see the wreck site, this is where they come. This is the best spot on the island to actually get out and be able to take a look at the site. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that you can really only see uh, kind of the north east view of the site. I uh, can't really see down into the VB and uh, see any of that activity that's taking place. But for general observation, uh, this is uh, the best spot on the island to come and see the site. Always plenty to see and all you're going to get a show with the wreck site. But generally, you'll run into some other locals like this guy right here. And you'll probably see some people fishing, crabbing, uh, maybe doing some other stuff along the way.
This is Neptune Park on St. Simons, and a couple benches, a couple pavilions here. Another uh, suitable place for taking in the sights and sounds of the Golden Ray wreck site. Almost every video we shoot out at the site, you're going to see the lighthouse somewhere in the background of one of the shots. It's just the dominant feature on St. Simons. And so we thought we'd give you a close-up look of uh, the lighthouse facility. It's still a functioning lighthouse, still used for navigation for chips that are coming up the St. Simons Channel. But it, instead of the lighthouse keeper living in the quarters now, it's, it's a museum. Uh, they accept visitors there. But it is right, very visible on St. Simons. And the last thing we got today was the Santa Maria was departing uh, the Port of Brunswick. So she's been here a few days, and we didn't get a chance to get over and take a closer look at her. But still a neat-looking vessel, uh, a bit of living history, if you will, headed back out the channel uh, and to, to open sea. Well, we're hoping as soon as tomorrow oh, okay. to see section six brought out on that dry dock from the Port of Brunswick back out to the VB and be picked up uh, so they can be transferred over to the uh, barge to the Julie B. We're watching, we're waiting, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you a little video tomorrow of that activity taking place. We're going to ask you that if you haven't done it yet, click on that subscribe button, give us some thumbs up, Keep the comments coming. And most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.